Bell Buckle Tennessee fights growth like a disease. Stop it early before it spreads. Why? You're about to see. Bell Buckle Tennessee looks like a movie set. Beautiful small town homes perfectly manicured and a downtown shopping district that just oozes old timey charm. Hard to imagine, but on festival weekend, Bell Buckle outdraws Bonnaroo. I think we're all looking for a slower, simpler time, a slower pace, somewhere to make your heart rate go down. Billy Phillips runs the 1889 General Store. I love our blueberry cream. And the 1881 ice cream parlor. There's nothing here that you need. There's only things that you want. You can go to a box store and get the same product in every mall, every city in the United States, but Bell Buckle is the place you come, to come to to get away from all those things. To say those other things are not welcome is an understatement. So many times we've seen communities in arguments with their own local government over growth, not here. For over 50 years, Mr. Elkins was our fire chief. Mayor Jenny Hunt ferociously protects Bell Buckle's historic character and led the charge to keep out a dollar market that wanted to build near town limits. We have a little market right here. That's, that's perfectly fine for 405 people. That works out great. Uh, we don't want to have overkill on anything. Sometimes there's also things that just don't fit in here. One of our sayings is we're 100, time, 100 years behind the times and proud of it. Um, a dollar market is not going to be 100 years behind the times. Dollar market, new subdivisions all die in town planning or zoning meetings. This town may have only 405 people, but all of them show up when Bell Buckle is threatened. I truly believe in a town our size, if you let in one small box store, it's a Pandora's box. What you see today would not be here five years or 10 years from now. Uh, I don't like to use the word that we are um, against growth. We just like to say we're progressively backwards. It is a town where you sit and watch the train go by. It is a town with just one police officer who can barely keep his job. Bell Buckle is not entirely without crime. Someone threw a brick through one of the store windows a year and a half ago. That's right. The last time anyone was arrested in Bell Buckle, a year and a half ago. Not a modern city in any way, except in the way they fight. They use public chapter 1101 for protecting scenic byways. And if you're in the country, you can only get a water tap if you have five acres. That stops subdivisions faster than a train crossing. There is something that Bell Buckle has that makes people happy, and we want to keep that. It's worth protecting, and it's definitely worth fighting for. If Bell Buckle is touchy about growth, a quick story to tell you why. In 1971, this street was moments away from being bulldozed. In its place, a piggly wiggly and parking lot. Ask yourself, would 600,000 people be going to Bell Buckle every year if that would have happened? I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News.